Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, so this morning, I already wet my face, put everything on. Um, for the brush, I'm going to be using my Leo Freelo 24 millimeter tuxedo knot, and we will be using Aqua de Parma. So, whenever I put this on, I don't wring the brush out as much. I think I said in another video, I like to keep it kind of damp, it really gets the stuff going. And then I use a lot of stuff. I use all my products. I don't like baby them. I figure might as well get it in. And with ADP, I have to go to Houston this coming Sunday. So I know, uh, what store is it? One of the stores up there in the mall has Aqua de Parma stuff. So if they want to stop up there and see if they have any of the uh, Colonial aftershave products. If not, that's okay. Not plenty of stuff to use. But I really like using this cream. It's really, really nice. It smells nice and clean. And it lathers super easily. Add just a little bit of water. Already looks really good in the brush. And it makes that nice pasty lather that I really like. Alright, that'll work. And then for the razor today, I'll be using the Dreadnought variation of the Edwin Jagger DE89. The very first DE I ever got. It wasn't getting a lot of love, so I figured I throw it in the mix. I'm using an Astra blade, so with uh, this DE, I ship between Astras and feathers. But Astras are just, in my opinion, an all-around, very versatile blade. I always get good results with the Astra. I hope everybody had a good weekend. And around here, uh, got the garage cleaned out. Got the oil going through the motorcycle a little bit. It's a really, really nice weather this weekend, so took advantage of that. Clean the truck, wash the dogs. It was pretty productive. Yeah, this first pass is going very well. Alright, first pass done. Feels good, no issues. Yeah, with my, uh, and, oh, I'm not even a Jagger. I guess it is, though, my Dreadnought Spartan DE. Um, the reason I got that one was when I was learning about DE shaping, I was just watching every single Geo Fat Boy video that I could find. I spent hours and hours just watching every single one of those videos. And uh, at the time, the uh, products he was using a lot were the Dreadnought series, which if I understand correctly is a variant of the Bluebeard's Revenge um, kind of tomato tomato type of situation. Um, I have never tried the Dreadnought cream, never tried the Pochet Balm, never tried the facial soap, but he seemed to really enjoy all their stuff and then whenever I uh, logged into his website and typed in Dreadnought this thing came up so I figured hey sounds good and it's actually uh, a really good thing that I picked this up because the DE89 is a mild razor and it's fantastic for beginners so I kind of got lucky on this one, and you know when you when you change from 
cartridge shaving to wet shaving, you're so used to putting a lot of pressure on your skin. So of course, that first week or two, I had a lot of irritation on my face. Wasn't quite sure if this was for me, but there was something just really alluring about wet shaving, so I stuck with it. Um, and I'm really, really happy that I did. Yeah, the, uh, the reason I picked up wet shaving was because I had to shave as smooth as possible every single day. Weekends included, and uh, I don't know, I was just getting a, way too much irritation, and shaving was something that I really, really, really was not looking forward to every single day. So I had to, had to find something new. Um, I had tried an electric shaver, and that was terrible, and that made it so much worse. Um, it was easy, don't get me wrong, but... Man, especially on my neck, it just destroyed it. Tried different kinds of cartridge razors. They all pretty much have the same result. Um, in my opinion, cartridge razors work too well. And what I mean by that is they shave the skin as well. And then when you're irritating the skin, the natural reaction for the skin is for it to swell. So that swelling then grows over your hair even more which causes more ingrown hairs it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy the only time i ever use a cartridge razor is when uh i'm in the woods and i have to shave this is i use like a i don't know like a shave butter um in a container and then i use the cartridge razor you usually only do uh, a width of green and very, very light across the green pass. And then for the aftershave, I just use uh, Pro Rosso Green, a really clean kind of neutral scent. Yeah, so far, this is doing really well. Probably won't get, you know, as close of a shave as I do with my single edge, but I mean, that's okay. I'll try something different today. Yeah, over the weekend it was warm, so I was pretty much exclusively using the Soap Commander Vision. Um, I'm really, really liking that soap. It's really good. I wanted to use this today. It's going to be a little bit cooler today and on Wednesday and Thursday. And like I said before, I base a lot of my shaves off of the weather outside. And this setup I've been using was pretty much my go-to setup for most of February. The scents are really nice, it's really warm. Very clean. I really, really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, this DE, this DE89 slash Dreadnought Spartan. If you're looking for a mild razor where you can really get after it, this is it. Very forgiving. And you'll still get a really nice shave with it. A lot of really good residual slickness on this cream. Yeah, so for my upper lip, I don't do a 100% initial against the grain pass. So I'll kind of go at an angle and then this way, and then I'll slowly rotate the razor out as I go. And that really helps me get all of those crazy growing hairs. Okay, this is really nice. Zero irritation. I'm liking it. 
And I do the same thing on my neck, just kind of slowly work my way back in. I won't go as close on my neck because even with the mildest razor, if I do uh, try to go really, really clean against the grain, I always get irritation. It is what it is. All right, rinse my face off. That's a really good shave. It's nice. I got a little bit of stubble right there. Other than that, it feels really good. All right, so we will get the, speaking of Shave Nation, Shave Nation Allen block. Put that across the face. And that's one thing I do appreciate about uh, DEs over the single edge is generally they are more mild. So much less uh, feedback on the alum block. But uh, surprisingly, I got a very good shave today with this. Usually there's, there's more stubble. Um, not as close as the single edge, but hey, it was really, really nice. Uh, the Astro is on its third third shave. Uh, over the weekend, I, you just did a with the grain and across the grain. I didn't do any against the grain passes. So that could also be why my face feels pretty good as well. I had time to recuperate a little bit. So I think I'm going to use the blade one more time. Generally, I only use them three times, but I still felt pretty good, no tugging or anything, and because I didn't do three passes over the weekend, I could I could probably get another shave out of it. Alright, rinse off the alum. Yep, I'm very happy with that. Once again, that Aqua de Parma cream comes through. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Alright, so... Um, I actually picked up this aftershave because I didn't have any kind of more masculine woody type scents. I have tweed, but that's a, that's a really clean um, kind of woodland scent. So I ended up picking up this, Club Infinite Whiskey Wood, and I'm really, really, really happy with this. It smells fantastic. There, are, I heard uh, good things about all three of the scents in their reserve line, but. Uh, yeah, this stuff is really nice. Yeah, it just smells amazing. It smells absolutely amazing. And I think it was like $10. So if you're looking for you know, a good little aftershave, it's uh, six fluid ounces. So it's not you know a heck of a lot. But uh, I mean, for ten dollars, you can't complain. It's like compared to the Razor Rock, it's about that big. So I know in a lot of uh, pictures and stuff like that, I saw the shape of this bottle, and I assumed that it was going to be this big, same shape. No, no, it's not. So initially, I was very disappointed, and then I realized like I have plenty of aftershaves. It's not a big deal. It's not like I have to have this last me for five years or I'm never going to have any aftershaves again. So just drying off this brush a little bit. And I don't try to get it 100% completely dry. Just knock off some of the water. Now you can usually tell when I'm getting it because as I come this way I'll get like some water bouncing off on me and once that stops it's pretty good. Rinse off the handle, rinse off the DE. All right, and then put on some aftershave balm, which is going to be the Aqua de Parma that matches that. I really like the Colonia, um, so I really want to find the splash and the balm. Um, it's not the end of the world, obviously, if I don't find the splash, because I have Triple X right there, which is going to be just fine. But I've always wanted to try it. I like this balm um, because it's probably going to be a little humid today. It doesn't go on as thickly. So you won't get that sweaty face feeling that you get with some bombs if it becomes humid outside. Ah, yeah, that's a fantastic shave. Okay, uh, for cologne with this stuff, honestly, I, I always go to uh, Creed Viking. Um, if you haven't tried it, I do recommend it. It, it is pricey, and if you can get a sample and you're not sure, uh, I was able to go to a store and they had it, so I was able to you know actually smell it before I bought it. There's no way 
I would pay that much money blind on a scent and to see how it reacted with my skin. Um, but definitely recommend that. Great products, great way to start the week. I hope you have a great week as well. And uh, keep on shaving. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. Take care.